Number 13, supernumerary teeth. A genetic mutation when more than the correct number of teeth develop. A condition that can be treated with frequent appointments to an oral practitioner, but in extreme cases, complex dentistry would be needed. Number 12, amelogenesis imperfecta. Imperfection is an understatement. With over 14 variations, each of which can cause its own strange effect on the development of the teeth, from thin, soft, or pitted tooth enamel, to small, misformed incisors and not-so-pearly whites. Unfortunately, this condition is dominant, which means even if one parent has the gene, the children will be affected as well. On the bright side, it only affects 1 in 14,000 people in the U.S. Bonded restoration is often the treatment option of choice. Frequent trips to the dentist, or in worst cases, a dental surgeon are a must. Number 11, super toddlers. This mutation causes children to either not be able to produce enough myostatin, which limits muscle growth, or their bodies just don't respond to it correctly. Two notable cases in humans, one in Germany and the other in the US, both display super strength in comparison to most of their pint-sized peers. This condition has been found more in animals than humans, but the effects are similar. Researchers remain on the fence in regards as to whether or not those affected are predetermined for any long-term effects regarding health issues. Currently, it is being studied as a potential route to treat muscular diseases. Something that is born with two heads might seem like Photoshop, but they are quite real. Being born with two or more heads is a congenital condition which results from the fusion of multiple embryos. This process also results in conjoined twins. Although it is rare for an animal or a person to be born and survive, it can still occur. Turtles and snakes have the highest probability. Runners up being sheep, cattle, cats, dogs, and pigs. Reports in humans date as far back as the 1400s. Number nine. Old looking young people, aka progeria, aka accelerated aging, is a condition that becomes obvious early on. You might find it difficult to imagine an infant appearing as an elder. People with progeria have a short life expectancy of late teens to early and late twenties at best. Researchers are very confident, researchers are confident that further studies over time could crack the code in regards to the aging process altogether. It's a highly unique condition affecting only 8 in every 8 million. Number 8, like something from a Lord of the Rings novel, is a condition that increases the sensitivity to another disease, HPV of the skin, resulting in scaly growths on mostly the hands and feet, but it could also be present on the face, scalp, and other body parts as well. There are 195 recorded and known cases of tree people in the world. Number seven, chimera. By definition, a chimera is a life form that contains the genetic traits of two very different organisms, hermaphrodites, dual blood types, or any other almigation of cells not normally found in a singular life form are all considered chimeras. Chimeras are also present in the plant world as well. Number six, not all mutations occur naturally. The hue and color is due to cloning and gene splicing. By using the same technique known as nuclear transfer that cloned Dolly the sheep, along with a dash of jellyfish DNA, you know, just for good measure, right? The result created a piglet whose snout and hooves glow beneath UV lights. There are critics who perceive the research as perversion, although optimistic scientists are hopeful that the research of this caliber can perhaps lead to advances in growing organs for transplant, which could potentially save thousands of lives. Number five. This creature appears as if it came from a sci-fi film, but it is no hoax. It was born in Oregon City, Oregon on December 28th in 2005. Sadly, it passed away after just two days. Awfully sad, but also a bit exciting that we have a recorded case of a feline cyclops, no matter how short-lived. The kitten's mutation is cause of the embryonic forebrain failing to develop both hemispheres and instead an indistinguished mass develops, leading to facial feature deformalities such as the nose, eyes, and upper lip. While it can occur in humans, it is very rare for a human fetus to survive term development, especially with severe cases such as our beloved one-eyed feline. He suffers from a specific form of this disorder. He suffers from a specific form of the disorder, which is characterized by a complete lack of either one of the lobes of the brain. This means the outcome is a singular mass in which the facial traits merge to create a single 
singular eye in the center of the face. Number four, record-breaking eyeball displacement. This is Kim Goodman. She is the proud holder of a Guinness World Record in Istanbul since 2007. Her eyes can protrude 12 millimeters, almost half an inch, which may not sound like much. However, in terms of things popping out of your face, it is. While tattooing of the cornea is an established and common practice in the medical world in cases of scarred areas or dying of the sclera, which is the whites of the eyes, it is now becoming a new fad sought after as fashion, who set the trend is still questionable. Not only will this bod mod be a no-no for certain careers, but also some states. An Oklahoma state senator by the name of Cliff Brennan filed legislation that was later passed into law on April 21st, 2009. Number two, it is a known fact that our tongue is the strongest strongest muscle in our body, and apparently our eyelids can compete as well. A man by the name of Dr. Hota currently holds a record for the most weight held by one eyelid for a specific amount of time. Initially setting the record at 6.61 pounds on the 10th of March in 2011, only to break that record two years later at 7 pounds. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe up there in the top right corner. Number one, what is the likelihood that this photo is legitimate? Could someone's skin be elastic enough to stretch to such lengths? Can optical nerves expand to these extreme distances? Will I ever stop asking questions and spewing semi-informational nonsense into a microphone?